I wanted to make a video about oil filters and why I use what I use. Right here's the three that I'm using right now. If I'm just running through Walmart real quick and I'm in a hurry and everything, I'll grab a mobile one. It's a good filter and uh, it's in my top three as you see. I'll grab it because it's there and I can get it. If I've got time to go to the auto parts, I generally go with either a Wix XP or a Pure Later Boss. I got one of each on my vehicles right now. And here's two new ones here and still got another new one of them. So uh, anyway, the top three things that I think is important in an oil filter is number one, that it not fail. So I wouldn't want an oil filter that I felt like was cheap, cheaply made, thin, or something that I thought might leak, leak out the seam can come apart or something like that. So number one, you gotta have one that won't fail. Number two, you don't want oil restriction to your engine. So you don't want something that's gonna clog up somehow and it won't flow good and oil won't get to your engine. Now I don't think that the failure and the oil getting to your engine is a big problem in all the really name brand filters. There might be some real cheap knockoffs that you'd have that in. But definitely any of the top name brand filters is going to work for them two things. Now the filtration is different on different models of filters. That's the third thing. It's got to filter out contaminants. So the filtration levels are different on different filters. Now these filters right here that I'm looking at, the cans on them, talking about this part here, all look exactly the same. They're all made by Man and Hummel and they've got the same top can and everything. These two have exactly the same base plate. Same number of holes, same number of cramps around here and exactly the same gasket. And this thin metal part comes on across over to here and stuff. This Wix XP has a heavier gasket. It's crimped in there better and the base plate's a little different on it, but it's got the same number of holes. In general, it looks like that this thin metal part's just a little different. It's probably close to the same, maybe not exactly the same, but close to the same base plate. But uh, in general, the Wix is made a little bit better in my opinion, because it's got a better gasket, definitely better. I don't know if you can tell that on here, but it's definitely a bigger, heavier gasket. Now the filtration levels that people talk about, they talk about percent efficiency and the micron level they filter down to. So basically what that means is you say, well, something is 99% efficient. So that means it filters out 99% of particles and the particle size then you'd say in microns. So this one here, it filters out 99% at 30 micron level, and of course bigger than that, but down to 30 microns. The Pure Later Boss, according to their website, they put it at 25 microns, but that's only one model of filter, and I've seen some stuff on the internet, you know how that goes. But somebody did get a tech sheet from the filter company, from Man Hummel, that said this was this very model of filler, I mean the part number and everything of this one, that it was only 46, so 99% was 46 microns. And uh, so you can take that for what it's worth. Now the Wix XP, I got this off the O'Reilly website and they're reprinting stuff that I'm sure they've got from Wix because they have the test numbers. They have the filter models, part numbers from them. This exact part number is 99% at 35 microns. Now, is that good enough? That maybe don't sound like the best filtration when you have Fram and some of the other companies advertising a lot of filters that are 99% at 20 microns or 99 plus at 20 microns. Well, the OEM filters are what the vehicle manufacturers recommend that you so i'm basing on that the nissan one which i have nissan vehicles the only numbers i could find on their oem filter was 72 percent at 20 microns so they didn't tell where it fell where it got to be 99 
percent, but if it's only 72 at 20 microns, then these are probably doing just as well or better than that. And the Toyota filter, I throw it in there because Toyota's a long lasting vehicle and their filter that you just get at the dealer there, everybody knows from, uh, from on the internet and everywhere that it's only 50% efficient at 20 microns. So to say that, all to say that these filters are plenty good they're strong as the OEM filters and maybe stronger probably. And they filter just as good or probably better than any of the OEM filters. So they filter plenty good. And so there's other reasons that I went with these filters and not the ones that go down to like 20 microns and stuff. And I'll tell you that here in a minute. I'll show you why that even though Fram and some of the other companies advertise 99% plus at 20 microns, I still just choose these filters over them. So to show you more what I was talking about, I've got a couple of old filters here that I cut open. One of them's Mobile One. It's a little bit smaller than the one that I had in on the tabletop review thing part of the video, but it's uh, designed exactly the same. And then the Fram Titanium over here. So oil on a filter will go down through there, through this filter media right here, and then back up. So it get filtered through there and back up through that hole into the engine. Got this valve right here. It's an anti-drain back valve. It's silicone, and this one has silicone one, two. They're both fine. That's a one-way valve. Keeps the oil from running back up. So the spring down in here holds all that up to the top in the can. So all that's sealed up the top. The oil can't get through there nowhere but going through this media. That's what filters it. If oil could just get around there somehow, you wouldn't have filtration, at least not good. So for this design, the Man Humble design, Mobile One, Wix, Purelator, has this style of a bypass valve. So the bypass valve is if this gets clogged up or the oil's too thick to flow through there while it's cold or something, this opens up down here that, that is a spring, actually, and enough push on there of pressure lets oil get past there and out. Unfiltered oil, but your car has oil going to it, your car or truck. So the design of this valve is built into there on the Man and Hummel type. That's important to what I'm fixing to show you. So here's the Fram style, and this used to be my go-to filter. Now on the Fram style, and this is Fram and other brands, they several brands have this style. I've already cut this open and see this had a metal back screen on it and that's good. Uh, that was the good media. So here's your drain back valve, your, uh, here's your anti drain back valve. This is your bypass valve on this style. It just goes like that. It's got the spring on the bottom. So the pressure pushes it up like that. So on this style filter, that just fits in there, pushes everything up, and then uh, the pressure works that valve. Now the the problem is on these years ago, or I say years ago, a couple of years ago, they had a rubber seal right around there. This right here went in there and it was sealed off. Now on this one, they had already dropped that seal out of there. It, they still had to wire back and, but they had dropped the seal. Now today they've changed stuff around to where you can get three or four different configurations in a titanium filter. You don't know what you're getting when you get a Fram titanium. It could have metal back screen. It might not. It could have a 
seal around there, it might just be like this one. It could have holes in the core here. It could have louvers. You don't know because they've just advertised everything exactly the same way, saying it has metal screen back. And there's at least three different configurations and maybe four if you count ones that had that gasket around there. So the problem is, and the thing that made me go away from Fram for good for now, I don't have the light right now to shine in there, but I've seen people take a light and shine in there. And this right here wouldn't sell good around there cause it's just metal on metal. So you know how it is when you had a water hose that just had just a little bitty pinhole in it and how that would squirt. So you see pressure on here would have raw oil just squirting into the inside and coming back out of that filter. The video I saw on that, he even put filter in a vise and tried to hold that in there tighter and he couldn't get it to seal no matter what he did. This one appears like it's sealing pretty good. They pop in there good, but that's just metal on metal and there's no seal right there anymore. That's been proven more than one time on different felders. Even the Alms oil felder didn't sell off right there. So basically this felder can be advertised as having whatever micron level at 20, 20 microns, 99 plus percent or whatever they want to say. That means nothing if raw oil is squirting past there. Now, some people said, well, wouldn't all the oil finally get filtered? No, it won't. If you had a completely closed system and you're just filtering the oil between two barrels or something, a completely closed system, then eventually all the oil would get through there and all the particles would get through that media. But the problem is that each time that the oil cycles through the engine, you have contaminants going down in and then squirting back up through here so that you're never getting the oil clean. So if something says, well, it filters 99% at whatever micron, that means nothing if you've got every size particle known to mankind in an engine going past there to squirting as hard as it can. I'd rather just have this filter here that's really well made, this design that's really well made, and the guy tested these two that tested it with a light, and this was sealed off, this design. I'd rather just have that design that got filtration 30, 35, whatever microns, but it's filtering all that oil to that level as I had to have 80, 100, you name it, microns just squirting past there. So until this design gets fixed, so that's sealed off good, it's filtering good, then I'm sticking with a man and Hummel. That'd be Pure Later Wix Mobile One for me because that's the ones I can get easy around here. So I got a light and got in the dark and I'm shining here. I'm showing you exactly what I'm talking about. That's where that oil can get through back there. Sure enough, on this very filter, and I've tried to seal it off and mash it in there as good as I can, but you can definitely see oil can get through that gap because there's no seal in there. Now I've brought the Mobile One filter in here and I've got a light shining through it. You can see that's it. And it passes the test. I'm spinning it around so you can see every side of it. No light coming through that. There's no stray oil getting through there. So I just wanted to say a few final words about these filters after I showed you the old filters that I had. Cut them open and then I shined the light through there and proved that I... Uh, there was a leak in the one filter, the one style of filters, because every one I've seen tested leaked. So right now I'm choosing Wix. That's what I'm going with, only because I think the filtration's about as good as these, maybe just a little less than that one. 
but it has full synthetic media. Both of these do. This only has synthetic blend and the full synthetic media, from what I read, is supposed to keep flowing better even when it's uh, starting to filter stuff out and everything. So to get the best flow and everything and, and good filtration, I'm going with these two and I'm choosing the Wix because it's belled a little bit heavier. So right now Wix is the one, if I could just get any of them, I do. But now when you're getting these filters, and I do this with any filter that I get whatsoever, I will have to say on the purulators, they have louvers inside. They got a metal core with louvers. All these do, and a lot of companies are going to that. I have went and looked at purulator bosses in the store that the louvers didn't look like they were open real good. They were always open, but they were not, didn't look like they were open real good. And I've seen pictures on the internet where they wasn't even open. So they could have tooling problems or need to adjust something or get old tooling. I've seen that on the Purolator boss, but I've never seen that on the Wix or the mobile so far. All the ones of these I've looked at or bought have always had the louvers open good. But I suggest when you go buy a filter, a lot of brands have louvers. Just check down in there, make sure, maybe take you a little bit of your light and shine down in there and make sure the louvers and everything are open good. Make sure everything looks good down in there. Look at the top and make sure there's a gasket on there. I've opened a box before and didn't have a gasket. Somebody I know got one of some brand. I don't remember exactly what brand, but it didn't have threads on there so they couldn't screw it on their vehicle so just always check the filter over real good when you look at one and i think if you pick one of these filters you wouldn't go wrong with either one of them and that's my opinion on it and right now for me it's the wix xp